Hi everyone, in this section we are going to talk about at using lazy and eager evaluation, which are both evaluation strategies which are used in order to have a look at how a variable or an expression is being evaluated and when it is being evaluated. So particularly we're going to have a look at some pros and cons of using them as well as a real example in Go of using real evaluation integer and lazy evaluated at the same time. Now, lazy evaluation in itself, as I said, is evaluation strategy, which basically holds the value of a variable or an expression until it is being evaluated or needed. So, if a value of an expression is not needed at all, then uh, in a lazy evaluation strategy, it doesn't hold the value but gets rid of the value in order to release the memory. Now, it has a lot of advantages. For example, the first one is that the language runtime in itself drops the expression that is not related to the final result at all, but uses and keeps only the expressions that are related to the final result. This way, it allows for faster computations because it uses only the expressions that are needed, as well as uh, cases of, of uh, data structure, it allows the programmer to access only the parts of the data structure in any order of them being initialized. It is also a great advantage of using of being used in non-frequently accessed data. So here we have two real-world examples of a lazy evaluation and how it works. For example, let's suppose we have a function with three parameters. In a lazy evaluation, we only compute the parameters that are being used inside the function. So this is what happens in Haskell but it doesn't happen in C, for example, which is not a lazy evaluated uh, language, even though you can find the mechanisms in order to apply it as we are going to do the same in Go. Also, another example is uh, building uh, infinite lists, which are, which are basically like slices, but with an infinite number of elements by using uh, generators. We're going to have a look at how to use generators later in another video in this section. Also, eager evaluation, which is another way of uh, and another strategy, uh, which basically uses and evaluates the expression it, as soon as it is bounded to a variable. So, it's the opposite of the lazy evaluation. It has some pros. For example, you as a programmer have more control and the code uh, and the flow of the code is more transparent, but on the other hand, it has disadvantages because you have more responsibility as a programmer, as well as it has potential overhead and is more memory intense. In here, we're going to have a look at lazy evaluation uh, program. In this case, we're going to lazy evaluate an integer. In this case, we've created a new data type, which is a function which in itself returns an integer. Now, make is a helper function which is going to help us build and create this lazy integer. The most important part here, so we have two most uh, really important parts of this function. The first one is using ones that do. Let's have a look at the documentation and here it says that do is intended for initializations that must run exactly once. This is what we really need. We only want to initialize only once and then we want to reuse the same variable over and over again. In this case, the same lazy integer over and over again. And the second part, which is really important too, is garbage collecting f, in this case, function that returns an integer in order to release the memory so it can be used by other parts of the program. So let's use this helper function, this make function, which is going to return a lazy integer. In this case, it's going to return 20. So n is a lazy integer, so in this case it's a function. The moment that we use this function is going to, of course, return us 20. The second time around when we use the same uh, uh, lazy integer and we do some other computations, it doesn't uh, compute the value again, but uses the value from the first time. So if we run it, so we've done before here, so it's 20 and 60. 